How, how many have you rescheduled? Wedding. So uh, there's all the juices, four, and they've all moved. The last one, oh, Mikey, yeah, by the way, that last one, Claire, she moved. Yeah, because I've next, seen a few emails come through about rescheduling to next year. She was on it from like the, the start of March. I don't know if she had the crystal ball. She was already talking about that and then one of them was one of ours was uh, they were doing a Polish leg first and then uh, England do so obviously that they were well prepped for yeah as soon as travel was done they were like ah, that's out the window anyway so but that moved and then the it's July ones are sort of they're starting now aren't they starting to ask yeah uh, all, your, your payment terms are but mine are two months before so I'm in the realms now of yeah they're getting a bit itchy. Am I going to pay you? Am I going to tie money up? And yeah, it, it's hard. this is probably the hardest bit, I think. Uh, yeah. Because that's, yeah, because we, we, we'd sort of take the final balance like a, like a month before last month. So it hasn't been not, just the way it's worked this year. People, sometimes people are paying chunks off or they pay more as a deposit. No one has. It's just been a sundry sort of booking fee. And so far, they've just gone, we've got another date. Are you free? And we have been. She's lucky. Yeah. But we didn't have, we haven't got loads this year. Loads and loads, haven't we? Done yeah, we, of... we have been lucky at the moment because uh, I think for the rescheduling, they've just gone, right, it's been rescheduled to, say, the 21st of March next year. It's like, good job that we're free, otherwise that complicates matters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Sitting you staring at that barrel of a refund, aren't you? Exactly. It's going to happen. I'm sure it'll happen for some of us. Or, and we haven't had anyone, I don't know if anyone's, no one's gone like, right, we can't have it and we haven't sorted anything else out. Right. So I don't know what. I'd... It's all dodgy, isn't it? Is are they cancelling? Are they? Uh, yeah. Is the venue cancelling? Do they have insurance? If they are, yeah. pay me and claim it from insurance. It's it's just yeah. It's it, just it, 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 really. It's, it's, it's a weird one as well because when you're doing contracts, who's technically breaking the contract? Because exactly. we're, we're not changing the date physically. It's obviously due to the virus, and then the venue changes the date. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. really out of our but hands. Yeah, our wedding contract is one from like. SWPP that we've used for forever and it's like it keeps getting amended and we update it but the the only bit on it is you know you booking fee and you book for this date and liable for it um, subject to like agreeable understandable change or something yeah, it's yeah, worth, yeah. And like an unforeseen you know it's like it's like it's like lawyer talking it like well is this what's this is this act of God is it what I don't know it's so, hard. <laughs> you, you don't you, you never want to thrash anybody with a contract. You always kind of want no, to do exactly. the right thing and, and treat people how you want to be treated, which is yeah. what I've done so far. But I know some people are enforcing contracts and I know. and things like that, and which is, I can see they're doing it for the survival of the business, but yeah. that reputation is just going to go. That, you know, no, some, guy, the first, like some of the venues, like asking for final balances and stuff, you know, when the wedding was going to be in May. Yeah. And they're like, but we're not having it. And they're like, well, we oh. want it. And you're like, what? So then that, that was one of the ones from, I think, I think Rudin Park, one of them was doing that. And then yeah. they, she got in touch with us. And obviously she had that head on like, oh, yeah. is this what everyone's going to do? And after, like you say, we chatted for like, on this, on well, it was a FaceTime, for like 20 minutes. And she calmed it down and we're like, going, it doesn't, we're not doing any of that. Don't worry. Like, get your new date and yeah. we'll be fine. Yeah. The thing you speak to people are all right, aren't they? But you could tell she definitely just had a kick in them. If you do that and film next year's diary and you've already taken money, you, you, didn't, you didn't bother next year, are you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You're committing cash flow suicide. So what, yeah. I'm, what I've been doing is, yeah, great, let's change the date, I'm free, blah, blah, blah. Ideally, it'd be great if you could pay some of your balance now. Just yeah, so that. Cash going through business. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, that, that's, that, that is the ideal thing. But then when I know I'm going to be all right for the next couple of months, I'll say, yeah, change it, balance due next year. Just so I'm, we're try, kind of balancing the fact that, I yeah. I think getting, that's, that's getting fair enough, isn't it? Because you can't, yeah. can't keep every date free. And if someone yeah. gets free and they want it yeah. Yeah. next year. I mean, with the original contract, it would have been dated for this year as well. So I don't, I, I don't know, because another contract would have to be drawn up, but what happens to the old one, I'm not entirely sure. Like, <laughs> you'd, you'd, you'd hope at least 50% of it would maybe be paid off by then, soon as all of this. Yeah, yeah. Do. Have, you had, have you had any new bookings, like, while you've been, while we've been quarantined and that, like, brand newies? 
I've only started taking them. Initially, I said no because yeah, you, you need to deal with the people who've already put their yeah. faith in you, if you like. So they they always they, I got a, I sent a big database email out to everyone saying I know what's yeah. going on. I'll be there if I can. Uh, if not, yeah. we've got some options. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. So because we we kind of knew it would come in, didn't we? If you, I think if you switched yeah. on and you've got you got something in between here, you knew <laughs> something bad would come in. Uh, unless, you're Donald, unless you're Donald Trump. Um, so I, I took bleach. no. I, I, yeah. I've got my bleaching my syringes ready. Yeah, <laughs> we're still wait, 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 redhead at minute. Um, yeah. so, so I didn't take anything new on for six weeks just to yeah. try and sh- shunt everything as much as I possibly could back. But there yeah. comes a point now where you need to be looking to next year, uh, and we're kind of needing them to. I take the two hundred quid deposit. I need that two hundred quid deposit. Okay, maybe the balance may be coming next year, but that two hundred quid deposit pays pays a lot of my bills. So yeah, yeah. getting that right balance of let's keep going, but let's keep the fairness for people who have already invested in us, but they're going to be next year. So all I do is is when somebody writes to me, Matt, how's it going? Or I write to them. Here are the dates I'm available around your around your yeah, date next year. Um, yeah, and I think inevitably, guys, there's going to be a lot of midweek weddings. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. As you guys know, all, all the big venues, uh, yeah, they're, 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 prime, they're prime dates go 18 months, two years in advance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I think next year is going to be a crazy year for weddings because we're not only just going to have a backlog for this year, but there's also going to be next year's weddings. And plus, with all this crap that's been going down this year, it won't surprise me if a lot of couples have just gone, right, let's do it. After having such a crap year, let's just get married. It's yeah, do you know what? I'm, I'm wondering if you don't, if you don't end up going to some new places as well. You know, that like venues that we're maybe thinking of doing weddings or can host them, but don't totally. do them yeah, I totally all agree. the time. And then find yeah. it like doing it, at, you know, if an uncle's got a barn of a place, get a marquee instead and that kind of thing. So they still want to do it, but they can't get a, a venue as such. I'm, Absolutely, it might be. It might be pretty cool. The big venues they they host over hundred a year, don't they? And let, let's be right about it. Most of them are June, July, August, probably September, and yeah. maybe around yeah. Christmas. Then dates have gone already. So yeah. all these brides come in June, July, but August. Exactly, now, yeah, yeah. They're going to have to go elsewhere, aren't they? Uh, or, or go midweek? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know what? As much as it's a pain in the ass being the wedding coordinator, charge of bookings for like Waterton Park or something. Now I'd be like that. Oh, oh. Bless Pauline, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> bless her. <laughs> Have you got next Saturday? Have you got August Bank Holiday next Saturday? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what else. Saturdays have you got next year? Yeah. Uh, I've got a Tuesday in November. <laughs> yeah. Tuesday in November, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, all the photographers have gone on holiday, so sorry. <laughs> but then... All these that are going to, like, I had a lot from May, June, shunt back into November. Mm-hmm. Right. You guys, oh, that, you, you guys know when you're shooting a May, June wedding, there's not stacks of pressure on you because you know you've got, well, nine o'clock. Oh, gosh, yeah. You've got plenty of sunlight going. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So <laughs> you've gone from a, a really no pressure job of, yeah. you know, I can shoot you what, next 10 hours and uh, we're not going to run out of light to, you're in November, it might rain, you've got 20 yeah. minutes to do groups and portraits. <laughs> then the, the then service is two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everything has to be done by three o'clock, otherwise yeah. it's pitch black, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the late... And then those, oh, I've seen a shot that you've done before that you, I really like, can you do that? And that was in the middle of July. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, a, a lovely yeah. sunset silhouetted shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, we'll have to do it at two o'clock, though. <laughs> because one bride wrote to me, she, she's changed from July to January, bless her. Um, wow. Wow. And she's, the big, one of the big questions was is, I love your sunset shots. Yeah. <laughs> what are your experience of sunsets in January? And you know what? You, you, we all know, we us three, you know, we, you're not guaranteed a sunset any time, are you? Oh, right? yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, I did say to her, you know what? Winter sunsets are probably better, actually. Yeah, they're pretty yeah. And armor in sky. So... Yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Ask if she likes, you know, um, cloudy skies and it, some of the umbrella shots as well. That might oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, you're, you're opening up the <laughs> like really dark, low, lit, rainy, freezing. I love it when you lie in puddles, yeah. Matt. Well, yeah, I probably will be in January. Yeah, do you like, re- yeah, you like reflection shots, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when there's a big grey, murky sky. Yeah, chance yeah. I'll have one then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably going to be okay. That'll save me photoshopping that. Yeah. <laughs> but then there's the flip side of you know what you're not waiting while ten o'clock to take them after dark. So yeah, you, 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 uh, 
my winter weddings, I, I pretty much get everything done before first dance. So yeah, sure. And to be honest, like, it always seems a bit of a sod's law thing. Like if they've seen a shot, like a sunset one or something, sod's law. That's the night that it isn't a particularly. Yeah, it's just booming. completely overcast. And then someone who's not asked for it at all, it's like looks like the end of days. And you're, <laughs> we're doing that now. And I, I'm not even bothered for that. Like, come on. Yeah. There's a great it's sunset still- outside. It's just like in Santorini. Do you want it? Yeah, um, I'm not bothered to be honest. I'll have a yeah, no, I'm just in. gonna drink. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny because you always get some of them couples where after like the meal and everything, they're just clocked out. It's like you know what? I'm not bothered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm so over you with your camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially yeah. the groom. The groom's yeah. always a bit like, oh yeah, yeah. You oh, guys, go, go on now. Go, just go. Just go get pissed, Matt. You can yeah, go home. Just nice just, yeah. just go home. Yeah, he says I've had enough. You can go home for me, Matt. I said, well, I don't think your wife's going to be uh, happy. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'd run that by you. He says, well, if she's happy, I'm happy. You can go home. Fortunately, yeah, she she likes the after darks and stuff like that. So I I, I hung around. Although, Fair enough. I was a bit thinking, oh, hey, could be could be on for takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, that's the dream. That is the dream. <clears throat> Knocking off early. Flyers. Flyers are on. <laughs> really, if I'm on for match of the day, that's normally he's like, I'm all right with that. That's the bonus, isn't it? <laughs> That's the bonus. If I get in before that theme tune and there's Gary smiling at me, I'm like, oh, all right, okay. <laughs> That's been all right. That's been a good one. But before what I take about, it away, um, What about <clears throat> studio stuff? The what, sorry? Studio stuff. Well, yeah, that's kind of the... If yeah. I'm honest, like the, the weddings you have been... You do a total halt, really, yeah. Yeah, the weddings has been the admin stuff because of the detailing of it. The studio stuff was pretty easy for everyone that was booked, obviously. Mm-hmm. We, there was a time on, just before it... It probably kicked off where yeah. not everything was shut or the wedding, you yeah. know, venues were done. And we st- we stayed open, didn't we, that last... That we last did, for, it was only about a week, wasn't it, where we tried, yeah. like, separating photo shoots up so there was an hour gap. I mean, fortunately, we all studio wearing's quite spacious as well. Um, one thing that was a bit weird, though, uh, as it got to that last week, we had um, a pregnant lady with her toddler child, I think, and it was just a bit like, you know, as the news is ramping up, it was a bit like, yeah, I think even at the customer's discretion, we need to just go, yeah, no, we, we need to kind of stop. <laughs> I mean, we checked, didn't we? We rang, we were speaking to, like, whoever was advising for the SWPP or MP, or one of them, and uh, it was like, oh, well, just, you know, common sense bit with people with these symptoms. And he just listed what every toddler <laughs> is constantly like. Not in hers. <laughs> Not, yeah. Not in hers, coughing, Coffee. jiggling. And, yeah. and they're like, that's Coffee every one of our toddlers. <laughs> like, what are we going to do? Turn down a toddler that sneezes? Like, they brought all family in and grandma's coughing a good. She had a cough for 30 Not years, but now, now it's bad. Man. <laughs> oh, I'm just God. like, well, I don't think we can really work like And then it just became obvious, didn't it? It was just too weird. But then, amazingly, some of the, like, ringing some of the customers just as a courtesy thing, you know, I booked your family shooting. Obviously, it's gone into lockdown and that. And they were like, oh, are we not? Oh, we're looking forward to that. Are we not, are we not able to do that? <laughs> like, not, not from us, from. We had, we, had an e- we had an email through, I think, from someone saying, uh, this was like a good two weeks into the isolation, like, Oh, and we had a photo shoot booked in. Um, you you guys weren't in. Like, <laughs> like yeah, no, yeah. Like, we're not a key workers. I mean, yeah. as much as we love photography and we really value it, mm, it's. I'm not, not. I'm not claiming any of that round of applause on a Thursday. Is for <laughs> no, no, no. That's not for no, us. I mean, that out the window. Going. Appreciate that. Shallow depth of field. <laughs> 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 Studio will be the thing that I think it's the thing that um, we get the most sort of not inquiries, but people now they've got a bit of time and they're chatting, you know, and they've gone online and they're going on Facebook and stuff and the website. It's it's all all the studio stuff because I think they may be thinking, oh, that's something we've been meaning to do, and now we've mm-hmm. we've stopped and I'll have a look into it. So maybe I it'll I keep personally think mean- where but. What what's happening now is 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 people are valuing their family and the relationships, and exactly. people are, yeah. we, actually miss, yeah. we actually miss our family. And I dare yeah. say, once you reopen, I think the studio is just going to go. Up. Well, that's what yeah. that's what we were thinking, and like we're looking at, and I've done it. Like look around the house and gone. I've been meaning to put some up there. For <laughs> so, yeah. And I work it, and I was there, probably most people are sort of doing that same thing. And when you cannot, it, do you know what I was thinking? It'll be a good it'll be a good an excuse as any to go and get all the family together 
totally. without just saying, let's all just meet at a pub or let's yeah. go to the park because you'll be over that by then. I think it's like, we said we were going to do it, let's go and do I it. I mean, so. me, me and Andy, uh, a couple of weeks ago, were on about like the whole financial repercussions of all of this. And it's kind of like, a, there's two sides to it, isn't there? Because as much as, you know, especially us being self-employed, then like financially, this is quite tricky. But also for a lot of people, they're at home with not a lot of money to spend on. Holidays are being cancelled, they're getting refunded for. I've had a couple of hotel trips um, like cancelled and refunded to me as well. So it, it kind of almost seems like maybe people might be pooling up for when this is done, or as, as well as some people I'm sure will be struggling <laughs> with as well. So we could find like a lot of people might be pretty prepared as soon as it's the yeah, nation's lifted. They might be like straight on the phone or messaging saying, right, I'm going to book in. I've been meaning to do this. What a great it's, our, it's our work. Of the marketing in it. I don't what, what, want it to sound like, like you're allowed together. out. I'll, I'll, let's all meet at Lawson uh, LW Studio. Let's all go and meet down there and have a big family picture. Yeah, not some great, <clears throat> yeah. yeah. some absolute car because they haven't seen each other for six, maybe more. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Yeah. Um, so as soon yeah. as the pub opens over the road as well, straight in there, they're going <laughs> to say, Right, look, we're going to get families down here that if you give us some vouchers, that give them a bit of money off, we'll send them straight over. Afterwards, so you can say photos and then go and have a meal, go and have a drink, and then come and get something like that. Yard. Yes. Oh, you can stand outside with Sam- sandwich border, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> family shows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Need all your family five. Harrow. <laughs> going back to what you said, Mike, when you, it's surprising you don't spend that much money when, when you're stuck at home. So, <laughs> people who are furloughed and getting eighty percent, and they've got the mortgage holidays. Like I said, mm. This money's it's starting to snowball, isn't it? So they're gonna they're gonna think what we're gonna spend on. Well, we've missed his family, we've missed his friends. Let's get together and yeah, do an excuse to get yeah, together. Absolutely. That's why I think weddings because people are always asking about it. Like, how's the the wedding side of it? And so, look, everyone that I've spoken to said you'll all have. There's a story in your family about someone who was going to a wedding. You were going to go to a stag do. You were going to go. I'm sure, and everyone's got. Oh yeah, yeah, so and so was. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'll do it. It's not like this is. Oh well, in that case. And it might even go. It might even be bigger because, like you said, people have you wanted it, and through no fault of anyone, you couldn't do it. Mm-hmm. So if we're doing it, let's fucking do it. Let's have yeah, it. And yeah. if you were like, "Oh, we weren't going to bother going to that one," maybe go for night. No, I think we're going to go because we haven't. We'll see everyone. Really? So, some, of, some of my couples have, have, have either in, they've gone for a bigger package and, and some of them have yeah. said, you know what, we've got another year to wait now. Can you tell us yeah. about a videographer? We can afford a videographer now. Yeah. It's still there. They're just going to make it bigger and better. I, I think one of these, one thing as well, like especially with, with all this that's been going on, like it's kind of been humbling to see what's important and what's not important oh, yeah. given this situation. Because like, it's funny, I used to work in retail for Sainsbury's and um, I'll be honest, I didn't really appreciate that job at all because it was just like a stepping stone. But just thinking about how important like supermarket staff have been in such a like, um, well, I don't know, it's just all about necessities, isn't it? So it's it's been interesting to see like if shit hits the fan, mm-hmm. what do we need? <laughs> or, or what do we want? Yeah. The guys went to the bins, uh, milkmen, uh, delivery yeah. drivers. Yeah. Delivery- Oh, you know, man. It, it, it's not politicians and bankers and economists. No, I don't hear that. Apparently, it's sweet boxes on Facebook groups as well. People are going mad for them. <laughs> Need your sweets. <laughs> My wife's got a load of cocktails. She got them delivered. I was like, what are these? Loads of glasses chinking in. But oh, they, they make cocktails, jar them up, and send them to your home. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you what, so, so <laughs> coining it in. Genius. What do people like it? doing? Drinking. Right. Yeah. We'll post it to them. <laughs> If you can innovate, it's yeah. there. Uh, there's not much we can do, is there, really? Because we don't well, need that contact. We had somebody ask on our Facebook page if we... <laughs> I, I don't quite understand what they mean, but um, they were saying, like, a doorstep. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, have you seen it? I've seen them, and I've been asked to do them, and I'm like, you know what, I'm, yeah. sticking, I'm sticking to rules. Uh, yeah, because it's... I've, I mean, I've just been asked... You can okay. stay back with a massive zoom lens, but it's not going to be a great photo shoot, because we can't really interact. <laughs> can no, you can't get in there and say, right, we're going to go here, there, 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 I'm going to go there. Yeah. That was my only thing. The funny bit was that people who've asked, like, oh, just to sort of um, uh, document this time, you know, like to remember this time by. I was like, yeah, but that's not a great thing to literally just on your front door. Like, you can't do half the stuff I'd like to do. Like, you literally, we're in a nice area, you know what I mean? Like, we could go to the, 
when it's all done and done, we could go to the woods. We've got the river. We've yeah, got yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked, mm -hmm. mate. Like, but, okay, I know yeah. there's, there's, there's some photographers doing it. Uh, and yeah, yeah. They're, they're making money out of it, aren't they? But I, just, just for me, oh, I think... Yeah, it's... We're bending rules here. Is, is that a necessity? Yeah. It, it, it's a weird one. Like, I, I've seen this whole... Even with, like... I know a few businesses are reopening today. Like, Costa... Well, Costa Coffee's been open for a few days now. And, like, the queues were insane. <laughs> at all, so I've seen... And not only that, I, I go through, because I live in Osset as well, I went through, we go through a little walk down Stalls Hill Road, and then there's like a little path that we go down. Yeah, the there. amount of Costa Cups I found yesterday on that walk, it's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was just the bottom, just gone, there, Costa, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Mental. laughs> yeah. Say they were doing this shoot, and one of the guys in the shoot got COVID. You know, and people are going to say, well, what have you done? Well, this photographer came out and took some pictures. You know, continue. Yeah. Well, well, this is the thing, because it's going to be pretty hard, because say, like, if you have a photo shoot, you go shopping, all this other stuff, like, all it'll take is one person to go, no, I'm pretty certain I got it from the photographer. And then, legally, where does that make you stand? Especially if, you know, God forbid, something bad happens to us as well. Uh, and, and you say, well, I, I had a long lens on. Yeah, but you touched my garden gate. And then obviously yeah. I touched it an hour after you'd gone, so I must have got it off you. You'd opened for a lot of criticism there. I know, it? yeah, that, and, yeah. yeah, that reputation. There's a there, like we were saying before, Matt. There's going to be a few people, especially in the wedding game, that if they haven't played it fair, you know, they've been a bit stingy. And understandably, you know, they've got to they've got to learn and that. But um, it will all be done and dusted, and people will be rebooking. That'll be doesn't take much to say. Oh no, no, that'll be a thing. How did you behave during the? Totally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean. Well, Everyone. It's kind of like, I've noticed it's keeping a lot of people's egos in check as well, because there's, there's some of these massive corporations which are like, no, you're working, you're coming on in, like the social distance in, in the workplace isn't really that great, and they're getting called out on it, and you know what people are like online for pointing out things that are wrong. It's, um, it's kind of bringing to light um, certain companies' work ethics, and I, I think it's really important to kind of just get over yourself at this point and so like, yeah. think of everyone, yeah. We're all human beings, you, you know, you might be a, a top dog in whatever industry, in, but at the end of the day, you're as vulnerable as we are. Yeah. You start matter. treating people properly and treat us like humans, not just a number or a set of boots on your work floor. Yeah. Uh, uh, there is, because I know in that first couple of weeks, there were people calling, like say, Mikey, calling people out on Facebook, do you know that so-and-so are working? And you think, whoa, bloody, and everybody's slagging them off. And, oh, yeah, they got a pattern of them, in the work. Oh, like that, right. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The last thing I want to be seen is walking that road with my camera, taking, calling people out and taking pictures yeah. of them. Going out. <laughs> as soon as I see on Facebook someone asking about wanting some garden work doing or something, I'm like, here we go, someone's going to call them out. <laughs> it could be a trap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It could be a trap. Everyone's having we, to go, we don't worry, you want to me as a part, I won't even see you. <laughs> I know, but we know as well as anyone, you take a picture from a certain angle, it looks like you're cuddling them. Oh, yeah, 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 that you compression. You feet away, but oh, then yeah, you yeah. from behind, you go, I, I was holding a 300-mil lens, and we're like, oh, I can't see that in the picture. It looks like you're kissing him. You know what I mean? Right. You're like, you're miles away! You use the wide angle, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Really. There's no depth. You're shooting 200-mil racked out, they're going to look like they're on top of each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, oh, I'm not, I'm not falling. <laughs> <laughs> That's how, they got, that's how they got Princess Diana. I ain't going down like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to get out. Dad, anyway, Andy, I haven't seen you for ages. You want me? You up in? Kids. Well, with, this, with these two? Yeah. Yeah, oh, mate. Do you know what? This is one of them things, like, enjoy the time, but it just, my missus was working still but from home for, for, like, the first month. So as soon as the childminders closed and we couldn't have grandparents, you know, giving us hands, yeah, yeah. that... That like Monday morning, it was Lou was working and got me, you know, this sort of stuff all day. I just went from I was like, ah, oh, but Monday I was like, yeah, I've got the kids all day, like mm. all me, nice and easy. And then the fourth week, I was a bit like, <laughs> I, I need to go to work. <laughs> yeah, no, I, it's funny. It. <laughs> I enjoyed four weeks. We loved it. Yeah, and now we're all, was, we're all it bought. was. And, the weather being booming as well yeah. was like, oh, do you know what? This isn't, this isn't too bad and people are taking it seriously. But I can already see we're starting to do, people are do, doing little things like, um, like it's a kid's birthday in the street and it's, you know, a bit of a, bit of a 
naffy time of a birthday. Yeah. Maybe, other, but you know what I mean? Was it Grace's? Grace's, but. Yeah, Grace's birthday in February. It's mine. It's oh, mine, right. Mine on Saturday. Is it? Yeah, we're, 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 Oh, you're going we're, out? We're gonna have a, yeah, we're off into the garden. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be good, that. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good day out, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might even have a oh, oh. quiz. You never know. Oh, but yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what. One thing after all this, I'm better at general knowledge. That many quizzes. <laughs> <laughs> Not one camera question, but plenty of football and celebrity nonsense and that. But uh, yeah, there's been a few people, you know, going out and just standing on the front of the street to give a bit of a round of applause for every birthday it is, and then. Some of the guys staying out and just having a beer on your front garden, but like miles yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even that, we, I mean, we did that in our street and opposite us is a, a, a doctor and a nurse couple, like who they're going out and we, we know we're doing it fine. We're nowhere near each other. It's not every day or anything like that. But we were saying like something about them driving back in after a like 18 hour shift or something in the sunshine, driving between us all stood with like, Looking like Jip. Having a jolly. Yeah, yeah, well, like, yeah, like, feels a bit, bit of a kick in the teeth. Like, bit of a, bit of a let's kick just, teeth. Yeah, let's just stay out of the way so they can't. Got to kill a man in your old tank. Well, they're, you know, they're cool with it, but yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm just saying, you've got to kill a tan in your old tank, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so, like, wee, wee. Wee. <laughs> yeah, a clap row, no, innit? Just. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but with a bit of that, but then you're starting to watch some other well, way. Like that last weekend just gone, a little bit down, you can get down the river where we are in Weatherby, and uh, there's a little car park there that you can't like lock or anything. And, and it probably holds about 20 cars, but every time we take the kids for a walk down there, it's, there's not a car in there because you're not supposed to be driving anywhere. That last last Saturday, by the worst night, it was full. Car park was full and people were sort of going, Wow. And one of the mad things was like people we chat to someone and they go, "Oh yeah, we're just walking a dog, um, but we just fancy going somewhere different." It's not the point. They're supposed to stay. Yeah, well, in Korea, aren't you? A bit of variety, but dog. You can walk from there. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's bored of its walk. It, it would you know like I mean? who elsewhere? <laughs> yeah, I could tell it was bored. Like the dog just said to me, "Really, I'm pooing over there again." Yeah, come on. <laughs> I think yeah, I think I, with the nice weather, if it was going to start, people just start going there. Yeah, I, I, I think... Well, we've done all this, like, might as well keep it going. Well, I remember government saying in early days, like, people saying, lock it down now, and it might have been that Chris Whitty or yeah. that Patrick Valance, he says, you know what, people will get bored of this, uh, and everyone's yeah. like, oh, I ain't going to get bored of staying at home. I get bored of this, getting a barbecue on. I, I love being at home, and everybody now is climbing walls. What's yeah. Up yeah. yeah. And there has been some people that have been totally snooped, with a couple of guys li- uh, live near me, who like, they don't qualify for any help they literally have been paying themselves the way that the accountants have advised so through dividends and that so nothing yeah. they can't even furlough themselves so they've you know like recruitment and stuff like that so they've gone from like decent yeah earnings and being totally in control of it to literally just like nothing nothing you, at all are you got are you limited or are you so yeah are you limited yeah. we're limited i mean we don't we we they, we qualified so quickly for the grant because of the studio, yeah, yeah, sure. and we've got a rateable value to the studio. We don't, we've got small business rates, so we don't pay any rates, but um, that, I think, from what I can understand, talking to people who seem to know more about it, we're like, oh, that's why it would have been so quick, because they could check you like that. Because I know there. a lot of people who were, I, I resisted the urge two years ago, I don't know why, um, yeah. but there, there, there were a big hoo-ha that they want much support for you guys, weren't they? Yeah, no, the the one really. If we didn't have the studio, you'd have got nothing yet. I mean, I I don't yet. Apparently, yeah. it's coming in a few weeks, but mm-hmm. yeah, you no, know, for that that's sole trader. So we get, I think, what were it, eighty percent of the average of last three years. Yeah, because that was on turn off. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, are you getting that as well then? No. What were no. you? Getting? What, what what's your support? So we get the grant, yeah. the small business grant for the company, and then we. Do pay ourselves through P A Y E, right? Okay. So, so we're technically up. we're technically employed by us. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that that was one of the things that was the hardest to get your head around reading how it worked, like how it was going to work with one head as me personally, and then one head as me, direct. Like, you know the the company. So yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, reading it going and you and like you your employer that's me. Oh, but I'm not me. It's 
<laughs> when we were trying to discuss it with each other with how the process works, it was like, so we have to apply as the business for us, but they'll send the money to the business so we can pay yeah. us through POI. Yeah. It was again, like, why not just give the money to the right person so none of the companies can mess about with it? Cause yeah, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't know if some companies might just take the furlough money and lay people off. I don't know. It seems a bit oh. weird that they won't just give it straight to the person. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. And for a time, it was like some of the, some of the stipulations were like uh, it, what it says in your employment contract. And we were like, what, what from me? I'll just write it. Like, <laughs> uh, oh, don't mention it. It says in our contract that we actually do get paid two and a half grand. Every it warns we know Photoshop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And so then that I'll was see. a bit, that was a bit like, I'm sure some people, I mean, we haven't done that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just get that straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's anyway, on video. You, anyone listening, yeah. don't even bother looking. Fine. <laughs> You're getting investigated next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's our company. That's Chab and Liam Photography. There's <laughs> <laughs> problem. A lot. You get the old uh, people who are, who've got the magic drawer, aren't they? The magic cash drawer. Oh, yeah. And they, they rightly so, have been well and truly bitten in ass, haven't they? Because yeah, yeah. Eighty percent of what they've actually uh, submitted for tax is not very much for them, and all of a sudden they exactly. think, "Damn, I should have put it off for a company." Should have put it through the books, and I'd be claimed yeah. more. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I play the game right, uh, so I'm, when it finally does come, we're going to be all right. But it's, it's there's some guys who are. They're drifting down that creek when they ain't got a problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. There'll be Definitely. people that take thousands every month, but oh, really, yeah. officially they'll be taking a couple hundred. And, oh, yeah, and yeah. And, and, that, and that's just in our pond, isn't it? We're, we're, and we're yeah. not massive yeah. earners, uh, but you look at some of these big businesses, who, oh, God, there'll be, be all sorts getting filtered out. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I, there's, a, there's a few people over the last month really looking through some paperwork and thinking, oh, geez. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all this I, mileage... I, all this mileage, yeah. yeah, we did, we did, we did three weddings up on Isle of Sky. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you I'm going to pass yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> seven hundred miles in a week. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we have caviar and Philip steak at every wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what we did. <laughs> sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, she got ready in all, but the wedding was in Surrey, so that was yeah. a big. Thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so all of a sudden, it's not looking too good for them. I know. I know. <laughs> when when do you reckon, like? If, Venues and that are back. Are you sort of are you gearing up for, I think July, August, or just when? Just wait and see. I'm. I. I personally think it's going to be at least September onwards. Oh, at least. Doing. I think. I think you're right. I mean, yeah. there's one thing for sure. I'm. I'm ready for it. <laughs> no, mate. Uh, yeah. you, 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 when you yeah. have a January break, you're ready for it, and that's only a few yeah. weeks, isn't it? But now I'm. I'm ready to get out and see people yeah. and have a laugh. And mm. well, if you think. Thinking about like the, the sort of the biggest reason to keep people, you know, people from different areas, different families, all together in a small, you know, in one place. That's the definition of a wedding party. That's what Absolutely. it's yeah. all to get people together that you haven't seen for yeah, sure. from all over the world in the country. And that's surely it's going to be one of them. Hmm. I think, Mike, I think they, you're right. I think it will be September, but I think it's. I think September. the numbers are going to be restricted. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of looked at, because I think with China, I mean, if you take their stats into consideration, because I know it's a little bit, who knows, but it seems to have lasted about five, the main bit of it seems to last about five months. So, but I mean, it depends because businesses are opening today. So who knows yeah. if we'll get a second spike. I wonder if people want to do restricted numbers of weddings, though, like, you know, the couples. Where do you stand then as a business saying, if somebody yeah. says we're cancelling it because we're on restricted numbers, and you, you, technically you can still shoot that wedding, so yeah. it's a, again, it's one of those. What, yeah, it's going to be tricky. You gonna it? Deal with that. It's, we'll probably have to start speaking to the societies at that point because we're part of the uh, societies. So because it is going to be weird territory, isn't it? Because it, it, yeah. if we could go look, well, we could still do it. We could still have a photographer, and we could be further back. And if you've got less guests then that's fine, but... <laughs> I spoke to her just before it went into lockdown, or maybe that week, um, I got through to the societies, this woman. I, she was just on the phone. I couldn't see her face, but when I asked the question, her face, I, this was her face, I, could, I hear it, she went... <laughs> it, it was like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got Why are you ringing? Oh, yeah. like, I didn't say anything, but I went, if I had to 
Just do this. No, 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 no. Like, where do you stand on insurance? I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know why I'm still at work. Like, I just thought, you know, on that, I went, do you know what? You have actually been pretty helpful there because that's made me feel a bit better. Because I thought maybe maybe everyone knows what they're doing. Well, just keep laughing about. We're kind of looking to the financial professionals and they're all kind of going, we haven't had a coronavirus before. Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can learn <laughs> from past errors don't you but there's not to learn from yeah but then what it, did we all do for employment during the spanish flu well it didn't really come up that much for photography so it's all right. no, no. <laughs> but you, going back to september we say we roll in september yeah. and we shoot september october november yeah. spikes again another five months or, or yeah. whatever we're going to lose spring weddings. Uh, yeah, that, April. That, yeah. yeah people, people love a spring yeah. wedding, and, and April's yeah. usually a busy month for me. You know, I, I always sell it as you've got blossom, bluebells, and everything's yeah. starting to flower. So then again, we're staring down barrel again of another six, yeah. seven, eight week of. of, of That's a good action. point, actually, because if, like, if we go back early and then it does spike and they shut it down again, and if we, we, and it was Christmas and we miss all the Christmas studio, yeah. Um, yeah, sure, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, to be shut again. I, I think it's going to be more on the venues because the, yeah. the venues kind of hold all of it, don't they? That, that's the where the numbers right? are, yeah, because yeah. they set the date, they tell how many numbers you can have and everything. Yeah. So we've just got to kind of hope that the venues kind of control it nicely enough. I hope, I hope they all survive it as well because you never know. Like, you know, know. these places are yeah. huge. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You never know what actual state are in though if there was you know who owns it who's invested in it and this might there might be some ones that you think oh I've nailed on they're fine mm-hmm. and whoever's you know in charge of the purse just goes nah. and get that sold and yeah. I don't know hopefully not because they're all pretty well, you know, well established aren't they but it, it should be just, fine yeah. Yeah. as long as the manager I suppose it depends how much the management panic because you, you never know if they want to completely shift the business model maybe yeah. they just start firing staff and i don't know cancelling bookings without even thinking so but i'd assume that most of them are going to try and you know get it sorted so they can just crack on as soon as it's all passed yeah. i hope most people have got the same boat are they they're all yeah. in the same boat they can't <clears> say, oh, wow, we're closed we can't do no weddings but them down road are picking all our work up they're yeah they're all in the same boat so i think they're all going to be pretty keen to get through it and yeah, I think so. I think I think it will. Yeah. Like you said, like we were saying, hopefully everyone will be uber buoyant for it, getting the extra stuff because they, you know, they've had to delay it. Or yeah, yeah, well, you know, I really do. Oh, that little... do. Everyone's oh. having to like reposition everything. Out. Like whoever's got a cafe or a restaurant are going delivery only. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are just giving out information at the moment as a free commodity just to stay relevant online, and it's just everyone's kind of shifting the businesses in a temporary way aren't they just to yeah. kind of still keep it active it's like when you I, I tell you what no, no one's going to get hold of a hairdresser or a beautician for the first <laughs> come uh, on, you know, I need a yeah. haircut so like, can you come and do the wedding it's like no I'm just fixing people's hair, home hairdos for the last <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, I've got a, I've got, a, I've got a bat list of 2,000 guys teddy bear skinheads <laughs> <Is enough. laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing weddings anymore. I can do 400 haircuts yeah. in a day. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Everyone thinking the Peaky Blinders and then just coming out with a fucking bowl cut like that. The amount of people that I've seen with a grade one haircut, but it was like two weeks into isolation. It's like you couldn't wait oh, two it. weeks, two yeah, weeks yeah. without shaving your head. I went for a quick cut before day before we got shut down. I thought we're getting shut down tomorrow for my haircut. <laughs> it lasted me five weeks and then it had to go. Yeah. So a lot of people are fine with the shaving bit. And the top bit, it's that blending in bit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Causing a little bit Made. of bother. It's not just the uh, comb and clippers, is it? Not one of them, is it's it? Not, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's like what people think, oh, you can take a great picture because you've got a great camera. You know? <laughs> yeah, totally. I've got some great clippers at home, but I cannot blend for sure. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. don't <laughs> let me loose on that. Like, yeah. so what are you missing? You have to let me know when Lou's free to cut my hair. <laughs> yeah, she just, she just set about mine viciously. Like, it didn't, there wasn't, there wasn't any rhyme or reason. Like, just knife and fork in it. <laughs> yeah, just that. What, what are you missing most? Yeah. Not for talk, what are you missing most? Out of any, all of it? Yeah. I oh, think we'll, I'm missing we'll, the... We'll, we'll give subjects. Food. Which food? What are we missing? KFC. Chinese. Akbar's in Leeds. Akbar's in Leeds, yeah. Akbar's in Leeds, good shout. Oh, oh it's got to be McDonald's, I think. 
So for me, it's probably Silkwood Farm. Uh, just oh, having, like, oh, just yeah. having, having a big brekkie, oh, a big all day brekkie. That'll do for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's driving, past, driving past the McDonald's and seeing it shut. It's, it's like, destroying, isn't it? Something serious must be going on. Well, <laughs> yeah. that was that was a lot of Xander's diet was McDonald's because he didn't <laughs> eat a right lot. So uh, we've been it's having. Like, I thought it was. I thought I was doing all right until I. Cars look really clean now. It's closed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the fries and nuggets in back seat and and, and happy meal toys. <laughs> I'd say, yeah, that is what. That's one thing I'll miss when I get back. A car being spotless because hasn't gone anywhere. <laughs> It's been cleaned and then cleaned again. Like, oh, something to do. But yeah, I'm missing well, that. I, I found a McDonald's straw in the side of my car door. And I nearly cried. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? Did you hold it. Yeah. Two holidays. Oh yeah. We lost yeah. Egypt in March, and I should have been oh. doing a wedding in Skiathos in a few weeks. And yeah. I think on Friday that went. Yeah. So that's two gone. Yeah, yeah, I miss, I miss is there any the sort of talk uh, of it getting rescheduled at all? Uh, Bride just said, Matt, uh, we're, we're going to soak it in, find out, uh, and decide from there. Uh, yeah. Initially, I'm selling my dress. We're just going to go off. Uh, will you come with us? I think they're worrying about going to Lakes or Scotland or somewhere like that. And yeah. I'll just, just sit on it, get over it, and you may want to head back out there. And I'll, obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Uh, but yeah. yeah we're, we're just waiting on. Again, that we're waiting on. It's like a concertina. If wait, I'm waiting on uh, Tui to refund me, then I can refund her. So, yeah, that's yeah. a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because one thing I've been wondering with, with all this, with weddings getting cancelled slash rescheduled, like, hopefully I would have thought that couples are still going to want to get married and still be together as long as all this time together is not messing it up. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it, yeah, living on top of it. Luckily, my wife, she's she's in prison service, so she's at work. <laughs> uh, I, I think come Sunday night, she's always wanting to throttle me, so I, I don't, I, I don't yeah. know if, you know, if she'd have been full of. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what I'm missing. I'm missing the people that through work that you spoke to pretty much every day without really realising that I did that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Not just him, yeah. like, like suppliers and and printers and stuff like that, and just the day to day stuff. But sure. I feel like missing out on you know, like yeah, yeah, what's yeah. for an age. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a bit I, weird. I, I miss the studio. I miss having family yeah. and like little newborn babies and just getting to yeah. meet people. Like meet people, new people every day. Well, like yeah. for I mean, what well, I've been a part of the studio now for five years, and that's pretty much been almost a daily occurrence. Yeah. And has it been like two months nearly? Like yeah. two months with none. There's got to be something when this is all close to do with like come and get whatever ridiculous facial hair photographed that you've grown <laughs> because you could. Because you're in isolation, like quality of- tashes and beards <laughs> out here like that. Before you get told to shave it off when you go back to work. <laughs> that's a good come in and get it photographed. That's a good niche, that. I want to go to <laughs> barbers. Drop hair. Got in stupid facial hair photography, especially. <laughs> yeah. That's very society's. That's got a little exhibition. Out. <laughs> Out. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, madness. But yeah, we'll, we'll be back, boys, but. Yeah, yeah we will. Come on. Are you supposed to see the guys over at Leeds Videography, Matt? Or are they, how's he doing? Uh, all right, yeah. yeah. Again, initially the big problem was the people who had committed paid their invoices and then yeah. had to reschedule. It was trying to marry that day up so you didn't have to refund. Um, and obviously they, they wanted him and I wanted us or whatever. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. So a lot of them have been saying we want to, we want your availability. We want to marry yeah, this day up venue. Yeah. Whereas some people they, they, they don't value that as much as just pick you because you're a yeah. photographer, you shot at the mate's wedding. Yeah. And they're not yeah. bothered, they'll just reschedule a date and tell you the date. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's that same battle as me, really, in, in that try and maintain as much as we can. Uh, yeah. I keep as much as we can and try keep the, try keep the money coming in with that. Can you pay a bit of your balance and we'll reschedule for you? I know some photographers, well, some businesses are charging yeah. booking fees, aren't they? More booking yeah. fees, which mm-hmm. is, I'd never, ever considered that. Um, it's, it's weird, isn't it? Because... You- you kind of you want to think of the business in yourself, but you also don't want to 
they're also suffering because of this. So it's, yeah. everyone's in such a tough situation. It's yeah. you know, trying to find what's good for you, but what's not going to mess with them. Because if you, if you change your holiday, you've got to pay, haven't you? If you change your holiday day, they're, they're, they're charging you 50 quid or whatever. So yeah. it is a practice that people do. Yeah. But for us, for me personally, and, and I know Jordan at Leeds, he, he, yeah. we're very similar in the way we do stuff. Is It's my name on the tin. I'm going to do yeah. things the right way. Um, the way I want to do it, yeah. 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 You know, uh, and stuff like that. It, it, people remember you for that, don't they? Well, oh. it's, it's one of those things, do you want the 50 quid or do you want someone to be disgruntled and give you a bad review? And, totally. You know, totally. And, and, and I totally agree with you. Totally agree with you on that. Yeah. I was just asking about new bookings because we did last two weeks ago, last week or two weeks ago, I just got a message from, we, they'd seen us at a wedding two years ago or something like that. And do you want to just do a video chat, like video wedding chat like this? I was like, yeah, no problem. We can do that. Brilliant. And she's booked for 2021. She's what a really weird situation. She's already got, she's booked the venue and then said, we're not going to do anything till like Christmas and then we'll sort everything out that we need to do for the actual wedding for the next year. So they'd already pre-booked the venue, and then now they've got all this time. Because like, I might as well get some things ticked off. So ring Andy, so I've got in touch. It was the weirdest wedding chat <laughs> I've ever done, because I was, like, stumbling and bumbling through. You're like, well, do you want to... But how can you, how can you possibly book it? Like, oh, I've already got the venue. Like, right. <laughs> but do you want to? Because it's... It was weird. I just felt yeah, like I was yeah, going... Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we'll just wait until we're all done. She's like, no, no, I'll just get this ticked off now. I was like, oh, well, you don't have to pay a booking fee or anything because you don't know what's going to happen. And she's like, no, it's fine. I'll, I'll get that done. I don't, know if like, we, I don't know if we spoke about it earlier, but it's, <laughs> those who aren't getting married who will sit on booking a photographer like us, yeah. they've got to now be thinking, we need to get as photographer book because all yeah. these this year are shunting to... I don't know if we spoke about that, but that's, that's a real oh, yeah. big thing for people. Um, yeah. <laughs> All the wedding suppliers, their diaries are more full now than they have ever, have ever been for the year. Yeah, because it's going to be this concertina book. Because I want to put some on Facebook from my page saying, well, if, if you want to book a photographer, you need to do it now, really. But then yeah. I think it looks a bit salesy and a bit, oh, co- trying to corner yeah. people into book. And I'm not a cornering person. Mm-hmm. But that's kind of the reality of it is. Yeah. We were, we were talking about doing the same sort of thing for the studio. Like we, ju- like we were just saying about you've all been with your family and get on in and we'll, we'll put an offer on now. But it, trying to condense that into something that's good enough for like a, a, a work yeah. that doesn't sound like we're just making the most of a shit situation. Yeah. It, it <laughs> sounds like it's not like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might, if you're thinking along these lines, get a voucher now and it'll save you some money. But try to do it in a chatty way that's like not saying, well, if all your family don't survive, you're going to wish that you'd got it done and you're like, oh, that'll... I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I'd, I'd write something down and read it and then go, that is fucking terrible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. It's hard. I thought it was nice and chatty. Yeah. It's hard because you are a business, but you are a, you're also a decent guy. So you kind of you want it to say to people, you know what? You've missed yeah. all your friends and family. Get together. Get that. Get that valuable picture that you can have forever. Whatever happens down the road. And the people ball, are like COVID nineteen comes back. Well, people are like, yeah, yeah. Before yeah. The spike, get in quick or before they come up with something else. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's hard. COVID twenty is here. Oh no! COVID twenty. Oh what? I don't remember COVID eighteen. That was all right. <laughs> yeah, straight to nineteen. <laughs> a runny nose. You're all right. But uh, yeah, and people who put like birthday like cakes, you know, for first birthdays and shoots for birthdays and stuff yeah, yeah. and in touch say look we'll still we still do it it's still for the birthday it's just not on the actual on the birthday day yeah. of the birth, on the weekend yeah. but it's it's a it's a birthday themed shoot we can still do it yeah, yeah, yeah. some mean, of the bump there's the story behind it isn't it when, yeah. when the, the and that's why it was there. then yeah if it anything, that's more of a memory, isn't it? Yeah. Because you're going to look at that photo and go, could you believe we didn't get a birthday photo yeah. shoot on the birthday? Like, we won't date stamp the pictures on the wall or anything. Like, yeah, you're yeah. fine. It can, you don't have to tell everyone. It can just be where it was. But the one that's, the thing that's a real bummer, I think, is for some people that they were dead set on the newborn, like really newborn. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and that is, you know, yeah. we've had to say we still do baby shoots, but they ain't going to be wrapped up in. No. Uh, yeah, we've only got right. a yeah. few weeks for that, really. So, um. But other than that, I think, well, understand, but what can you do? 
Like I'm I'm looking forward to when my kids grow up and the the wine that they're feeling poorly, and you can just go oh, back in my day. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's COVID nineteen. Let me tell you. Yeah, sit down over there. Let me tell you something. Don't know you you are real. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I think in next year or so, whatever we do, there's always going to be a story behind it, isn't there? Of yeah. course, yeah. You know, when you take wedding pictures and these brides and grooms 20 years down line and they're telling the kids all about the wedding, mm-hmm. well, we should have got married actually in 2020, but with some yeah, of yeah. COVID-19 struck the earth. And the yeah. Yeah, yeah. things that this has messed up from holidays to graduations to weddings to just general family meetings, like <laughs> business Absolutely. things, like everyone's lives have been absolutely halted. With and, and for photography, like the guys... Guys and girls who are like for weddings or for studio are like, like saying, oh, "I'm not that bothered for the photography." You, you get one because you're supposed to, and then all of a sudden, they've seen what can happen people's weddings taken away and the importance of them that they go, "Oh, actually, yeah, it's a huge deal." Look what look what the people who've yeah. missed out or we've yeah. missed out yeah. and we weren't even yeah. going to bother doing it. If we're going to do it, look, God, yeah, of course we want to do it because we. You want to look back on it and absolutely man and yeah. videographers and stuff like that like let's let's do it but put a bit of importance on it because it, it's easy to just you know don't miss it until you you miss it and then absolutely. you didn't do it yeah totally it's done, yeah. hopefully that's a bit of a, a nice thing but yeah the, the marketing thing <laughs> thing <laughs> bring Brexit back yeah I miss it that's what I miss the most <laughs> oh <laughs> Right, boys. It's all right. Yeah, I'm gonna get yeah, going. No worries. I'm gonna finish the rest of this. Here's my. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm, I'm, happy have, I'm happy to have a chat. <laughs> Build me back. I'm happy to have a chat anytime. You don't have to be podcasting. <laughs> yeah, it's, mate. It, it's, it's good to. Cause I only really talk to Jordan and his videographer, so it's always nice. Yeah, to, no, mate. We'll do yeah, it. Yeah, but same thing. We're just there's a few people that we're just having a chat around with. Not all of it's going. To be honest, we said podcast just to make it feel like we're doing something. We might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a podcast yeah. channel. It's just more interesting than just them listening to me and him, to be honest. It's, without, it's, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's kind of comforting to see, you know what, you, you, sometimes when your back's against wall, especially when you've got kids and they're taking your time and you think everybody yeah. else is doing this, doing that, they're not yeah. actually. We're all in the same boat, aren't we? Yeah, it's nice to chat. To, you know, there's there's a, another photographer that I know who, who will, she's lovely and known her for years, but it's always positive, which I get, you need to do that, but... Sometimes you're like, cool, I just, it's just a talk. We're not, it's just a chat. It's not to. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's um, interesting speaking to everyone that. else that's self employed as well, because everyone's yeah. got their own little businesses, um, whether if the home base, got their own studio, shop, whatnot. Because, yeah. I mean, we, we were speaking to my friend Ellis, who's got his own cocktail bar. Obviously, they were like the first to close down when all of this came about. Yeah, yeah. And we were trying to say to him, like, look, you should be fine for the grant. You should be able to furlough and everything. Because there's been quite a few people that have been like, I don't think I can do it. I don't. Cause, yeah, that's true. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot of people thinking they're not eligible when they totally are. So it's like, look, don't suffer. Like, speak to they've got accountants. Like, speak to your accountants. They'll tell you what yeah. to do and just yeah. you know sort yourself out. Like, yeah. I don't don't know that. first first week I was, everybody were ringing it, like uh, florists, yeah. hairdressers. What are we doing? Hey, also, yeah. And you're like, well, I don't know, but this is what I think yeah. we should do. And it, so this, there is that community there, and it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. People, it's nice. Yeah, <laughs> especially the like-minded people, shall we say. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That selection of people where if you've got a bride and groom and they're freaking out, you can go, do this, do that, don't worry. I know those guys, yeah, yeah, you've been yeah. chatting. It's not like that. I know they're fine. I know they're looking forward to it. Get going, just calm it all down, make it for a good day rather than, yeah, yeah people just freaking out. So. Yeah. Bye, yeah. boys. Good to see you. Yeah, you too, Matt. <laughs> You take it easy, boys, and I'll, I'll speak. Might have finished you. it by a couple of weeks when we uh, chat again. <laughs> should be on the end of the day with COVID nineteen. <laughs> Boost that SEO, get some traffic to your site. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys. <laughs> I'll catch you, you in a bit. Well, catch you later, Matt. See you later. See ya. See you, mate. Bye.